Hey what's up guys welcome back to another brand new video on the channel and today I'll be sharing with you some of the internet etiquettes which every internet user must follow. We all were taught some of the etiquettes of our life in our primary school and we must follow those etiquettes in order to become a good person or to get respect from others. Similar is the case while we are online. While we are online we are not only talking or we are not only exposed to our known ones but also to some other people who maybe don't know us but our existence online might create an impression on their mind. So here are some of the etiquettes which we must follow. Never use words in capital letters while you are leaving any comment or while chatting because capital words in internet means you are shouting which is not a good sign I guess. When you are angry you can express it by shouting at someone or by speaking in a higher voice tone. But over the internet while chatting, it is not possible. So I think you must control your anger online. You should never ever use any type of slangs while you are commenting or while chatting with anyone. Whenever you are asking for some favor from someone, always use please and thank you. It sounds good. In Facebook while you are posting something, tagging multiple people is not a good sign. I have seen many people tagging unnecessary people. They, are, they may be uploading their profile picture or they may be uploading a pic having only themselves but they are tagging a hell lot of people well the aim of tagging was meant to tag people whoever are present in the photographs but most of the people are using this tag feature to gain likes and popularity which is not a good sign moreover the person you are tagging regarding of the post may not be comfortable with that post also you must avoid short forms while chatting with someone because every internet user may not be familiar with the short forms even some may be familiar with a different type of full form of that short form so there might stand a miscommunication between the users. Moreover, using short forms portrays that you are not in the mood of having a healthy conversation or the person you are chatting with is annoying you a lot. So avoid using the short forms and take your time to write the full form of the information because it also shows that you are interested and you are also respecting the other person. Do not overuse emoticons. Yes, the cute looking smileys in whatsapp those are called emoticons the invent of emoticons was mainly done to express your feelings and support your text using a single emoticon after your text is quite enough to support the text with your feelings or your mood you must always maintain others privacy internet is an open world so while you are on the internet you must take care of the information you are sharing about yourselves and also about other persons if someone is asking for someone other's profile information or someone other's phone number then you must always take prior permission from that person before sharing his or her information to others. Never steal original content. Internet is a place where one can freely express their talents. On YouTube you may find that every user has their own talent and they are portraying that. Never ever steal those talents. If you have your own talent, show it on the internet. And if it is extremely necessary to take uh, content from other user to support your content, then you must always take prior permission before using that content. Copyright infringement is a criminal offense and it can land you up in jail up to 3 years. Do not fuel trolls or memes. Memes should not target any particular gender, caste, or religion. But today's memes are not following this etiquette. You may find some memes funny but the other person may not find it. Do not harass any user through texts. If a stranger is not comfortable in having a healthy chat with you, then you should not try to ask him or her to become your friend and to start a conversation. That's not a good etiquette. If some stranger is not interested in having a conversation with you, you should not promote it. Maintain the purpose of WhatsApp groups. WhatsApp groups are meant to remain in contact or in touch with people having a common interest and purpose. You might be having your office group for discussing your office stuff. You might be having a class group for discussing all the classroom stuff. You might be having a family group to stay in touch with your families. But maintain the purpose of the group. Do not share memes or jokes in the group meant for work because the people in that group are there for different purpose. They are there to discuss the official stuff and they might not even like the memes which you are sharing. If you find some memes funny and you want to share it with friends, make a different friends group who are having common interest. Avoid sending constant good morning and good night messages. Nobody in the group is interested in having a good morning text or nobody is rather interested in wishing someone else good morning or good night. And the most annoying thing is the sending of good morning and good night wishes in the form of images. Guys, it takes up your phone space. Don't do it. 
If you want to wish someone good night or good morning, do it in the personal chat. It would also help to display that you are giving importance to that person. Thank you guys for watching this video. These were some of the important internet etiquettes every internet user must follow. If you like this video, make sure you leave behind a like for this video and also make sure you subscribe to the channel along with pressing the bell icon beside it so that you never miss an awesome tech update from my side. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.